Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what sold this week video. Now typically I do a what sold this month video, but I'm finding that it's kind of annoying because I can't show you everything that sold because it would take forever. Um, so I decided if I broke it up into like weeks, then I guess we can go from there. So the last video of the month I could just do a uh, basic, you know, how much I made, um, that kind of video. I'm not going to go over everything that sold. So we're going to try this, see how it goes. Hopefully I can stick to it every week. Um, but yeah, so I want to go ahead and I had somebody comment earlier on YouTube asking if I could show the pricing. I didn't really know what she meant by that. Um, I guess she meant like the photo where it says sold and the amount. Now I do want to say on some of the photos, the sold amount is not the actual amount it sold for. If they bundled an item, that amount is going to be the original price no matter how much they paid for the bundle. So just keep that in mind. Um, I didn't do dashboard um, photos, so I'm just going to tell you if it wasn't a bundle. I think I only had one bundle, so um, and I sold that stuff for pretty cheap. I was trying to clear my closet a little bit. Um, I'm kind of regretting it now because I just found a ton of stuff that I've got to re-photograph and list. But anyway, all right, so um, let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first item that I sold were these, I'm going to put the photos over here. So it was a pair of vintage Jordache mom jeans, high-waisted. Um, uh, the buyer paid $75. There was a $15 Poshmark fee. My net earnings were $60. Um, the next item is a pair of Anthropology Cartonnier paper bag linen trousers. Um, the buyer paid $17 for these, a $3.40 Poshmark fee, and I made $13.60. The next item is a pair of Cabby black top notch trousers, size 6. Um, the buyer paid $15. I had a Poshmark fee of $3.00 and I made 12. The next item is an Anthropology Angel of the North cardigan. It is um, it was priced at $18. There was a Poshmark fee of $3.60 and I made $14.40. Um, a Banana Republic black silk blend top. It was a size medium. It sold for $15, and I made $10.20 off of that. The next thing was a Free People Gray Burnout Oversized Top. Now, I called it a burnout. I don't know if that's what it was, but it looked like a burnout to me. So, anyway, um, it did have some pilling on it. I finally got my fabric shaver working, so I was able to get that off. It's amazing. So, I was able to remove all of those pilling, little pilling spots. Um... But anyway, that sold for $20, and I made $16. A Top Shop Blue Scallop Cropped Open Blazer. It sold for $15, and I made $12. Uh, the next thing was a Sundance Floral Long Skirt. Um, it sold for $15, and I made $10.20. Um, a North Face Black Fleece Jacket, it sold for $17, and I made uh, $11.80. I did give them a shipping discount of $1.80. An Anthropology Mave Needle Lace Peplum Maroon Top, size extra small. Um, it sold for $12, and I made $7.25. I did give them a shipping discount of $1.80. Um, if you can tell, I was trying to get rid of stuff. <laughs> um, Eileen Fisher Silk Crepe de Chin Bomber Jacket. I sold that for $19. I made $13.40 and they got a $1.80 shipping discount. Um, that jacket could have gone for so much more, but it has sat and sat. And I have had it up high, down low, all over, you know. I finally got rid of it and so I'm happy for that. <laughs> Um, Anthropology 11 C's navy blue embroidered shorts um, that sold for eight dollars. Um, and I made not much five dollars and five cents. Um, 
there's so much. I was like, oh, that was just for today's sales, just an FYI. <laughs> um, uh, the next item is a Lucky Brand Boho t-shirt. It sold for $10, and I made $7.05. I'm probably not going to go over the fees. I'm just going to tell you what it sold for and what I made um, to make it go a little quicker. Um, the next item is Cole Haan Black Suede Loafers. I had these priced a little high, and I lowered them, and then I was like, you know, I just want to get rid of them, so I did. Um, but they sold for $7, and I made $4.05. Um, we had a closet clear out a couple days ago, and I had lowered... I went and did the price drop, the edit listing price, and everything, like tons of stuff, was $4 because I had basically gone that low on all of that. So I went ahead and deleted a lot of things, but people were able to buy stuff while I was in the process of deleting and relisting. So, um, <clears throat> The next item, a Lily Pulitzer Pink Floral One Shoulder Top. It sold for $13, and I made uh, $10.05. It was missing the belt. A pair of vintage high-rise striped drug rug pants. That's what I called them. I had no idea what to call them. Um, they sold for five bucks. You know, I made like a two dollar and five cent uh, earnings. I got them at the bins. They were old, and I don't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to get rid of them. So, so the next thing is Gianni Benny leather pleated flats. I sold these for fifteen dollars, and I made twelve bucks. A pair of Tom's Peep Toe Wedge Shoes, they sold for $10, and I made $7.05. Paige Green Skyline Ankle Peg Jeans, sold for $8, and I made $5.05. Um, those did have some stretching on the back, um, so that's why they went so really, really, really cheap. I purchased them from uh, Plato's Closet during their sale, and I think it was like three bucks that I paid for it. And then I realized that and I was like, oh man. So I just got my money back. Um, Anthropology Leif's Doter White Bermuda Shorts. I got these from the bins. Um, $9 is what they paid and I made $6.05. The next item is a pair of ASOS Design Farley High Waist Slim Mom Jeans. Um, they paid $20 and I made $16. And I got those from the Plato's Closet sale as well. Uh, Doncaster green jacket, size 8. It sold for 4 bucks, And I made a dollar and 5 cents. <laughs> so I made a 5 cent profit. Woohoo. Um, yeah, I got that from like a... I don't remember where I got it. I think I got it from like a sale or something on at one of the thrift stores. Alright, so the next item is Urban Outfitters Damsel green long sleeve top. It sold for full price, which was 19 bucks. And I made $15.20 off of that. And I'm going to say I'm kind of upset with the, the post office because some of these things have shipped off like in the middle of the week and they are still saying ship. They have not delivered yet. So that's upsetting. Um, the next item is a St. John Sport by Marie Gray hooded jacket. Uh, $15 is what they paid and I made $12. Um, that sat forever. Nobody cared about it. It had no likes, nothing. And all of a sudden, just somebody came up after like six months of it being in my closet. And I was like, you know what? Take it. <laughs> um, Riley and James Boho Floral Top, size 26-28. It sold for four bucks. I made a dollar. Um, Adidas Seal Winter Firebird Blue Track Jacket. It was in the blue camo. Um, this was a really nice jacket. I did end up getting it home, measuring it, and found there was a tear in the sleeve. So I had to let it go cheap, as always, whenever I find defects. I still sell them, but I list it in my description, and I lower the price. So it sold for $15. I did make sure that the buyer was aware that there was a defect, um, and, or a flaw, whatever you want to call it, and she was like, yeah, I know. So that was that. You really couldn't even tell, but, you know. Um, 15 bucks is what she paid and I made 12. The next item is a Lily Pulitzer white shirt dress. I sold it for seven. I made four. Um, that was another one with a flaw. <laughs> it had like these stains on it. I was able to get the majority of stains off and then after I had done that, I got it upstairs. I was measuring it and everything. And then I realized there were stains up here too and I was like, oh, really? So, of course, I just threw it up really cheap. I put the flaws in the description, and somebody still wanted it because, you know, 
some people can get stains out. I, you know, just use Shout. You know, other people use like Dawn dish soap and all that. I don't have that, so I, I guess I need to go get it. Um, it still is sold for more than what I paid, so. <clears throat> um, the next item is a Zara Basic Brown Trench Coat. I sold it for $15. Bucks. Um, it sat for a while as well. I made $12. Bucks. Uh, Fredericks of Hollywood Cropped Vest. This was like... I don't know. I guess it was like stripper gear. I don't know. It looked like something that maybe something you wear in the bedroom. I don't know. But anyway, it, it sold for $17 and I made uh, $13.60 off of it and I got a five star rating for that. Um, the next one is a bundle and it was four items. Um, the first item being a Y&S handbag, a Karen Millen brown dress, an anthropology uh, sweater cardigan, which had a flaw and a Moda International floral halter dress, which was ugly as sin. So, um, this person paid $34 and I made $27.20. Alright, the next item is a pair of Rock Revival Mint Green Shorts. The buyer paid $25, I made $20. They gave me 4 star rating. I don't know why. They were clean they may have been low wrinkled so that could have been it um you know it is what it is uh cambio high rise sharon jeans this person surprised me but anyway so they paid 40 and i made 32 and last but not least uh torrid pleated chiffon blouse they paid 15 and i made 12. so for the week I had $553 in sales and I netted $417.40. So of course I had to deduct my cost of goods from that, but regardless, I had a really good week. Um, I tend to do pretty good each week. For, for me, it's always Sunday and either Tuesday or Wednesdays. I, I get them mixed up, but one of those two days, those are my best days. Typically all the time, those are my best days. I don't know what it is. And I rarely have to put work into it. I'll wake up with a ton of cells. Um, something that I did do last night, um, which I feel may have had something to do with the burst of cells I had when I woke up, was I went through and I added retail prices, um, the retail prices to where it says original price, to everything. So I literally looked up every single item I have, which is like 408 listings. Well, now. Um, so, like, I had about 420 listings. So... Um, yeah, I looked up every retail price and I went ahead and added them and then I took and I multiplied, um, the retail price by 40 and I used that number to put as my sell price. I don't know. Um, some of those prices are super high. So of course there's room to, you know, bring them down a lot. Um, so yeah, if you go to my closet, you're like, whoa, that's super overpriced. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm aware. Um, but I'm just testing something out. But anyway, so that was my sales for this week. I will do another one of these videos next Sunday. If I'm able to, it might have to be Monday. So I hope everybody has a great night. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can contact me, um, in the comments below, or you can, uh, follow me on Instagram at Allie Bethany, and you can also comment message me there direct message so i will talk to you all later have a great night bye